Hey guys, Nabil Zock here, and if you remember, um, a few months ago, I made a video about the uh, Motorola backflip, which is uh, the one I'm holding right now, and um, why am I making this video again? Because I recently got a new update with um, for the Android, and now the first video, if I manage to find it, I'm going to make a little box right around here, and you should be able to click it if I manage to find it in my computer, but... That old video was explaining um, about the phone and it has Android 1.5 at that time. And you know, after a lot of patience, it's finally, they finally released the uh, Android uh, 2.1 right now. And I just uploaded it this morning. And after a few, you know, playing around, I managed to uh, find out what's new and what's not. And um, if you might notice, I have this blinding room light behind me that, uh, pretty annoying thanks to my uh, reflective uh, screen protector which um, I like it I like the reflectiveness but I wouldn't recommend you guys if you guys go outdoor a lot because that you can't see anything uh, if there is sunlight shining through you because uh, the screen just gets entirely dark and I only have half uh, protection because I lost the other half and I just haven't got time to, um, to uh, buy a new one I know I need to because it's been showing signs of breaking. But anyway, to the phone. You can see me there with my camera. Right off the bat, after the update, um, you notice the unlock is different. Again, if I had the old video, I would probably show you uh, a picture of um, the old one. But the old one is different. Uh, the, the new one is different because uh, usually we you, you have to click uh, this button to unlock it. And now it's a slide and a quick mute. You got a quick mute right here, and then an unlock. And uh, right off the bat, if I have do have the old one again, this is um, a to entirely different. Um, you notice the bottom now instead of a home-looking image, you have um, a circle now. And you when you click it, it immediately opens it instead of having a laggy. Uh, menu bar dragging itself up it just immediately covered the entire screen which is a good addition and um, I noticed the screen adds up usually it only has uh, five of them two on each side and one in the middle and now um, it adds another one to the side so you have um, seven screens now which is a uh, which is awesome kind of depends uh, and then the most amazing thing is now it's it's fast, you know. After after the initial update, now you can see I'm scrolling mindlessly. It's really fast now, instead of the old um, slow, jerky movement. Actually, now is a um, little bit faster. Depends on um, what apps is open and what is not. And aside from just the interface, uh, Motorola also adds up some stuff. Now they have uh, the calendar change the weather changed and then now you can have a voice command and um, amazingly now it's Google default search uh, before the update uh, we have Yahoo for our default search and then the email um, the message or email is different now uh, we have uh, the picture right there and now for the happening also we have our pictures up there if you could see it um, I'm changing my pic picture to Pikachu because um, it's a child abuse moment when I'm taking this video now um, also the pl music player changed from AT&T player into this um, I don't know what it's called it's just named uh, titled music but oh copyright anyway um, the interface is now new uh, it's much more easier to navigate instead of uh, the old one was confusing because you have to keep on pressing the back button to um, scroll back and forth to your music but um, now they completely updated makes it easier for you to find and listen to songs and um, if you might notice I have the four basics one two camcorders camera gallery and uh, mobile vid videos um, I don't there I don't think there's any uh, difference on the camera and camcorder I played but on the gallery section now uh, it changed the folder it looks less nicer than before but now um, it makes it into a little folders where um, it makes it easier for you to find your pictures then again um, I did not add all the page with um, stuff because I want to show you something cool uh, if you want to add stuff as usual just uh, go to the settings 
And now Motorola, now now they have uh, different kinds of um, add-ons. Usually it's just widgets and shortcuts. Now they have Motorola widgets and Android widgets. Now um, those two are completely different because the Android widgets widgets are the um, from the apps you downloaded from the App Store, while the uh, Motorola ones are the one it included in your phone. Which is um, all of them are pretty interesting, you know. Um, most all, almost all of them are useful. Uh, and um, the interesting thing is when you unlock something, let's say uh, I pick happening on this one, uh, this uh, only works on some widget, but when you're trying to edit it, you can actually um, resize them. So there's no predetermined size. You can make it you know as big as you want or you can make it as small as you want. That way um, it could you could either save or you know lose space that, which is a pretty interesting uh, up, uh, update I say. Um, as I said, the phone is uh, smoother now, and uh, the basic apps, the, the basic um, apps you have like calculators, alarm, and all those stuff, um, all the default apps you earned um, are now um, updated. Like, uh, oh, that's not the one. Where is it? Let's say the calculator is now more updated. Um, it looks nicer. Well, the function will stay the same, but it looks nicer. Um, Overall, I was pretty satisfied, and uh, the best part about it is that you have the uh, latest Android uh, market instead of the old one. Now, you know, I could actually have a preview of what I am downloading instead of just reading what people said. Um, it's a pretty good addition. Now, this update gives the phone a thumbs up. I mean, on 1.5, it couldn't keep up with whatever I'm doing. It restarts automatically, and... Um, it lags a bunch of times, but after this update, you know, I've been texting friends and trying to call people, you know, there's no, well, drop calls due to reception, but um, the, uh, there's no lagginess to it, and usually I am in panic when people called me because um, the phone would freeze up and I can't, you know, slide to answer. Um, now, it didn't give me that problem anymore, so, um, it's a pretty good addition. Also, oh, I nearly forgot. The keyboard uh, the, for the touchscreen is also updated now. It looks cooler than the old one. Updated. Focus. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So, um, link for the uh, download is um, on the description box down there. Uh, please read carefully when you're updating it. So, you know, because uh, the update takes around one to one and a half hour well the update itself takes only uh, 10 to 20 minutes but um, the moto blur and the Google account you know synchronizing your contacts with everything takes a while especially if you have a lot of fr uh, friends in uh, Facebook and whatnot and also uh, your contact is somewhat deleted if you haven't back your uh, contacts with Google so um, before you update, make sure you uh, you uh, 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 back make a backup first. Overall, the other program I have works, and um, I'm pretty satisfied with the update. Well, again, the, the how tos and below. Please read carefully and um, enjoy your new updated backflip.